Hi and welcome to Spice and Pans. Today we'll be cooking Hainanese chicken chop. So let's start cooking. We will now start to marinate our chicken. I have with me over here two pieces of boneless chicken leg which I butterfly. If you want to know how to butterfly a chicken leg, I'll put the link in the description box below and you can go there and have a look. Add in two tablespoons of light soy sauce, one teaspoon of salt, and a few dashes of crushed white pepper. Just some basic ingredients for the marination. Mix them up well and we'll leave this to marinate for at least two hours. I'll show you the next step in a while. Now we'll prepare the crumbs for the cutlet. I'm using cream crackers over here. If you do not have cream crackers, you can always use bread crumbs or panko powder, no problem at all. So put them in a Ziploc bag, just smash it up like this. Make it as fine as possible. If it's not enough, always do a little bit more after this. Once you are done with this, just transfer it onto a big plate. Now we are going to coat our chicken cutlet. I have with me over here the marinated chicken leg, plain flour, egg wash, and the cream cracker powder. We will coat the chicken in plain flour first. Make sure you press it down a little bit. Turn it over to the other side and do the same. Coat them up well. If there's not enough plain flour, always feel free to add a little bit more. Once you're done with this step, shake off the excess flour and put it in the egg wash. Same thing also, if you do not have enough egg wash, feel free to add another egg. I would like to add in bit by bit so that I won't be wasting my ingredients. Once it's covered in the egg wash, we will coat it with the cream cracker powder. Make sure you press a little bit down. We want our chicken cutlet or chicken chop to be really, really crispy. Make sure it's very, very well coated. Okay, then we just set this aside and do the same with the other one. Once I'm done doing this, I'll show you the next step. After you have coated the chicken, let it rest for a while. In the meanwhile, we'll fry our potato wedges. I have with me over here about four or five potatoes cut into pieces like this. Heat up the oil and slowly just put them in. If you like to use fries, no problem at all. It's really personal preferences. I'm using medium heat right now at this moment. We will only stir occasionally, but this might take a little while to cook because I'm using raw potatoes over here. We'll fry the potatoes until they are slightly golden brown, and then we'll heat up the oil again and refry them at a higher heat. When you see that the potatoes are floating, that means they are more or less done. We'll just remove them from heat now because we want to do a double fry. Do not turn off the heat, otherwise the oil will be lodged in the potatoes. We will now turn the heat up to high and wait for the oil to get really hot. Now I'm just going to test whether the oil is hot enough or not using my bamboo chopsticks. If you see bubbles rising up rapidly like this, that means the oil is very hot. Be very careful now. We will add in our potatoes again. Stir them up a little bit. We just need to fry them for about 10-15 seconds just to crease it up a little bit on the outer layer. Right, this will be good. We will now remove the potatoes. Don't have to turn off the heat. When you deep fry the potatoes, add in a teaspoon of salt and mix them up well. Okay, we'll set them aside. Heat up the oil again. Over medium heat, we are going to fry our chicken cutlet now. Be very careful when you do this. Skin side down first. Do not move them around. Let the crumbs set on the chicken first. This will take a minute or so. Control the heat of the oil. Don't let it become way too hot, otherwise you'll burn all the crumbs first before even cooking the chicken. Well, when you see that it has hardened up like this and it has taken its shape, we can turn it to the other side. Look at how beautiful this is. We'll double fry the chicken cutlet so that the exterior will really be crispy. Right, it's a beautiful golden brown now. We'll remove this from oil. Again, do not turn off the heat. Now we'll set this aside, reheat up the oil again to high and we'll do a second fry. Now I'm turning up the heat to medium high or high and just remove any crumbs that's left behind in the oil. The oil should be hot enough. Let's just try. Yes, if you see 
the bubbles rising rapidly like this, that means the oil is very hot now. We'll put in our chicken cutlet for the second fry. This will only take a very short while, around 10-15 seconds or so. The double fry is to crisp out the exterior and make sure that the oil is not lodged in the chicken. Right, beautiful. This is how I want it to be. We'll now remove this from oil and I'll show you how I make the sauce. Now we'll heat up our pan to cook the gravy for the chicken chop. While we wait for the pan to heat up, I've blanched some canned green peas which I'll be using together with our chicken chop. Once your pan has heated up, add in a little bit of oil. Add in one medium-sized red onion, sliced thinly like this. We'll just soften them a little bit. If the heat is too high, turn it down. We don't want to burn them. I'm using medium-low heat now. Once the onion has softened, we'll add in 4 tablespoons of tomato sauce. Add in also 2 tablespoons of sweet chilli sauce. Give it a good stir. We'll now add in 200 milliliters of water. If you do not have chilli sauce, you can always replace it with tomato sauce. Now we'll turn the heat up a little bit. We want to boil this. While waiting for this to boil, we will prepare some cornstarch solution. Add about 1 tablespoon of corn flour and 2 tablespoons of water. Mix it well and set it aside. Now add in 1 teaspoon of sugar. If you like it sweeter, you can add a little bit more, no problem. And add in 1 tablespoon of light soya sauce. Mix up well again. If you like it to be a little bit more sourish, add in 2 tablespoons of white vinegar. And finally, we will thicken this up with our cornstarch solution. Stirring as you, as you add it in to the consistency that you like. And now we'll add in some of our peas. Okay, now the sauce is done, we'll turn it off and we'll pour this over our chicken chop. Now the dish is done, let's have a taste. Crispy. Mm. The chicken chop, very flavorful, juicy, and the sauce is wonderful with this because it has a little bit of tanginess inside there. Fantastic. So ladies and gentlemen, I hope you like our video. Do click like on our video and do subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.